Welcome to Wall Street Training's module on the overview of the financial markets. In this module, we will quickly go through the specific industry jargon and go through exactly what is the sell side, the buy side, what is exactly investment banking, asset management, sales and trading, as well as hedge funds and alternatives. Let's now turn our attention to the sell side, equity research. Previously, we talked about investment banking, buying uh, uh, investment banking, structuring equity and debt to sell, as well as mergers and acquisitions advice, as well as talked about sales and trading. Now let's talk about the equity research side. Equity research simply provides in-depth analysis of companies. Their idea is to generate investment opportunities so that they can then sell to the buy side, usually in the hopes of selling, of generating trades. In addition to a number crunching, again, produce research ideas, sell these ideas to clients to generate trades. Typically, that is where the revenue comes from. This is a very early job, so if you're not an early riser, think it twice. You have a lot of morning calls before the stock market opens to pitch your ideas to these sales and traders and buy side stock pickers, the portfolio managers. So, that is what equity research does in a heartbeat. Research analysts typically follow specific industries and they may cover anywhere between a dozen to three dozen stocks. And again, their idea is to recommend stocks to buy and sell. They in turn have to convince the sales force, that sales and trader now, to convince those clients to now invest or sell in that particular security. Again, they generate revenue by the amount of trades that their recommendations bring in. So the idea is you want to have a lot of good ideas to sell. The research hierarchy is fairly straightforward except this is slightly different from the investment bankers in a sense that, if you recall, investment banking starts with the managing director on the top, the associate somewhere on the bottom, and then the analyst at the very, very bottom. The research hierarchy is actually exactly flipped around. The top guy is what we call the research analyst. They are the stock pickers. They do the sales, they edit reports. They're the ones who are appearing on TV. Squawk Box, CNBC. The research associate is the middle-level management. Typically, let's say anywhere in the investment banking associate to VP hierarchy, that would might be their equivalent. They're the ones who are writing the financial, who are uh, creating the financial modeling. They're the ones who are actually writing the reports and interacting with the senior management as well. The research assistant might be akin to an investment banking analyst. In this case here, they do the grunt work, they do some of the financial modeling, they do research, and they also format and edit the reports. So again, same similar hierarchy as in investment banking, the only difference is the actual titles are actually reversed. So whenever you're speaking about the title analyst, you must be careful to make sure you truly understand exactly who you are speaking to and in what context they are taking these titles under. The CFA is the Chart of Financial Analyst designation. This is a very important credential, especially in the buy side world as well as the sell side research world. The idea here is that in the past, you used to need, once you had a CFA, you were practically guaranteed a job on Wall Street. Nowadays, you basically need a CFA just to even apply for any of those jobs. You can find more information on the CFA by going to CFA Institute's website.